You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, that's true. It shall set you free. Good morning and trust you are keeping well this morning. We are sharing truth this day on honoring authority and we are reading from John chapter 1, 24 to 34. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adenekon, Lord Paki, to inform and inspire you into the real knowledge of God, great knowledge of God, deep knowledge of God, hallelujah, and uh, all powered together by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for Education. In short, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus. Now, if you are done with spiritual chocolate and now desire balanced diet, this is the place. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise and glory. As we share together this morning, minister to your people. Help them to have it a permanent thing in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We are back in the Gospels and um, we're, still, we're still in John chapter 1. Oh, we're going to start from verse 24 there about. So let me do 24. And now those who were sent were from the Pharisees and they asked him saying, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them saying, I baptize with water, but there stands one among you who you do not know. It is he who, coming after me, is preferred before me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to lose. These things were done in Bethabara, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who is preferred before me, for he is before me. I did not know him, but he, but that he should be revealed, to Israel, therefore, I came baptizing with water. I think we can stop there and then go back and share from where we started. Hallelujah. The people who were sent were Pharisees, and they asked him, Okay, if you are, why are you baptizing? What's your point? Why are you baptizing? And John answered them, I baptize with water, water, but some other person is coming who will baptize with the uh, um, Holy Spirit and whatever. But the interesting thing I find there is that John didn't really answer their question directly. And you will find the same thing in the life of Jesus several times. They will ask him a question, he would answer the way he wanted to answer. And we learn a big thing from there. If you answer the way you want to answer, you cease the conversation. And it's very important for you in time management. Some people have a way of wasting your time with all kinds of questions. But if you answer intentionally you know what you want you you know the way you want to direct the conversation you can make it go the way you want it to go they were asking him why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ if you are not Elijah if you are not the prophet his answer that I'm baptizing you with water but some other person is coming was that their question it wasn't their question but he had made up his mind that he was going to seize the conversation and it's a very very big lesson what some of these people who have a way of wasting people's time you can seize that conversation by, by answering intentionally the way you want to answer and then he says you don't know that person coming after me is preferred before me who stand us up i'm not worthy to lose he was trying to describe somebody really 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 bigger than him and that was the christ remember that this Christ was talking about was his cousin and then john was only six months older but you see it's not about age it's not about your position it's about what god has made out of somebody or what god has called somebody you respect the person um, in spite of uh, maybe your age or your whatever, but when God has commissioned somebody and given him a particular position, respect that position, respect God in that person. That's what John was doing, and I pray that we will learn that uh, big lesson. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God takes away the sin of the world. He is the person I was talking about when I said this preferred before him. I didn't know him, but that I should manifest him to Israel. That's why I've come baptizing with water. I don't want to go beyond that because my time is really, really running away. Uh, but I would like to uh, point out something here. The next day, John saw Jesus coming to us. Whoever wrote this book, I would believe it's John who wrote this book. Whoever wrote this book, you will notice things like the next day, two days after, 
and things like that, you know, in his writings. And that it shows you that he was there. He was part and parcel of that. Probably he was a disciple of John and then became disciple of Jesus. I don't know. But obviously he was an eyewitness. He was there. You will notice this kind of language. You don't find it too much in the other Gospels the next day, two days later, six days later, you know, things like that. You find that a lot with John because uh, he knew he was there. Okay, he went on to describe again, but this time around he added that he is the lamb that takes away the sin of the world. And <clears throat> thank God for that. You remember I was saying, um, you know, some time ago that God, at the, before the world was founded, there was a lamb that was slain in heaven, you know, and that, that lamb was slain to take away the sin of the world ever before, you know, Adam fell in the garden. God made arrangements. May God help us in Jesus' name. Very quickly, there's 232. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said unto me, Upon whom is the Spirit descending and remaining on him? This is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Hallelujah. So you see, when God sends you on an errand, at times he will reveal things to you. At times he will give you signs that will make you know what he was trying to arrange or what he was talking about. In this particular case, he had spoken to John and told John, I will let you know the man. You are going to see the Holy Spirit descending upon him and remaining upon him. You know, he gave him things to see. God speaks to us in different ways. To somebody like Joseph, it was like angel appearing in dreams and stuff and things like that. To some other person, he would say to Peter, three men seek thee. Just like that. This one, okay, you are going to see signs and signs and signs like that that will make you know that that is the messiah that is the one that will take away the sin of the world but i love something he said he says i have seen and testified that this is the son of god he never mentioned that all the while he was talking he said it's bigger than him he described him in so many ways and he said he will baptize with the holy spirit but he finally ended it saying that this is the son of god and jesus never said don't say such things. No, he didn't say such. He didn't say anything like that because indeed he is the Son of God. Occasionally, you find people trying to bring up arguments and say Jesus never said so, accepted so, and we have find many places where Jesus actually said he was the Son of God. We read one the other time. It says, "Before your father Abraham was, I am." Praise the Lord. So let us round it off here and just uh, uh, wish you the very best today as we go into your day. I want to say again to you, please. Give us a thumbs up or like, as they call it. Please share with as many people as possible. Remember also to leave your comments in the comments uh, box and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We are after a target actually. We are trying to reach 1,000 as quickly as possible. Subscribe and um, encourage your friends to subscribe as well. And then remember, press that notification bell in case you want to be notified once our posts come up. See you tomorrow morning by the grace of God.